Is there? They show up in the, they show up in this little mini map. Okay. I don't right. have access. Hold on. Careful with the second floor camera. Got it. All right, you're clear. Need to go back over to the other stairs. There's a camera in the room. In the room, just don't go in the room. You're fine. Okay. It does. It's not looking outside the room, is it? Nope. Okay. All right, now where am I going? Uh, what is our next objective? It says op. Uh, it says our objectives are done. Okay. Oh, uh, there's a camera and a guy. I see a camera at the far end, and I see the guy. Okay, so what's the objective now? Unknown. What is it telling you? I got nothing. All I know is that I'm carrying f like four pagers, a gun, and four uh, magazines. Hmm. Well, there's a basement with a guy that's blue, civilian. I'm guessing oh. that's the guy we're after, so I need to head down there. I need to get down there, Aaron. So you need to go back down. So you probably need... Let's see, is there stairs down? <laughs> Can you mark the guys that are on the ground level? I There's only one guy up here, and I can keep track of him visually. Okay. So, there's a fair amount. You need to get to this area. Which area am I looking at? I just marked the three guys. Okay. Are there only that three? Uh, looks like it, yes. Okay. Um... Okay, so I'm going to need you to kill that cam the camera at the far end of the corridor. Got it. All right. And there's, there's, you see the one guy coming? I see him. Okay. Yeah. The he, comes down, he comes down by you as well. All the way down? Uh, I don't, I I don't think, think so. so. Are you sure? I don't know. He's coming pretty far. I don't think he's going to see me. No, it looks like he stops halfway. Does he continue? Okay, no. he turned around. Yeah, he goes halfway. All right, that's good. All right. And be careful, there's a camera in that room back there, too, that does point outside. Room on the second floor or the first? Second floor. Okay. Okay, you're down. I can't see you now. Okay. Um, I'm going to go back down to the first floor. Okay. I am assuming... Uh, I'm he's, there's a guy face... The, number three is facing you. Yeah, I see him. Careful. I'm assuming there's got to be... You can... Can you go... Yeah, go that way. The way you're facing, go around. There's an opening right there to your left. If you go all the way around those boxes. Oh, all the way around. Okay. Well, if you can go that way too, you could be fine. Yep. There's an opening in the, in the wall you're facing right there in the middle. Here? No, no. To your left. Oh, I see it. Yeah, there's a guy patrolling that middle section. Um. He keeps walking back and forth. The other two guys, guards are stationary. Okay. Then he's the one I need to take out. Yeah, but he's facing your way. You have to go. Th you have, yeah, you have to do the will, moving target. Yeah. Number two. You need to take out number two. I got him. I see him. Okay. Coming for you. Who's whistling Farmer in the Dell? Number two, apparently. Ah, but I can't. You can get him? I can't get him so close. Oh, to the other one? Yeah. We'll take out number one then. Or take out three now that he's open. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright.
Okay, that camera is not seeing you. I was worried that upper floor camera was looking at you. Oh, he's he's running over to the guard. Watch out. He's out cold. You're not going to wake him up. Don't you move from that spot. Oh, one is activated. Shoot. Careful. Oh, they're coming downstairs too. I'll mark him for you as well. Watch out, he's coming around the corner. Okay, you're still good. I am a rock. I am a rock. You don't notice me, I'm a rock. I'm a rock. <laughs> Rock, rock, rock. rock. <laughs> That's a different game. <laughs> I'm a rock. <laughs> I am a fly on the wall. I am a piece of cardboard. I am your medulla oblongata. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you probably need to take out all these guards. Oh, don't tell me he's coming this way, you rad bastard. Oh, and ah, two's facing ah, you. Oh, you're screwed. Oh, oh, damn it. That was a bad place to hide. Yeah, that was serious. I was like, don't tell me you're coming this way. No. He was going back to his spot. Uh, tell me I got all four of them, though. Well, you got all... Well, I'm assuming the checkpoints after you got the fourth one. Oh, damn it. No. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. Are you back in? Alright. Co-op, connecting the server, hosting. Mm -hmm. Checkpoint. Mm -hmm. Okay, OBS is now recording it. I'm joining your game. Cool. Did it auto-join? No? Join game. Local recording, yeah! Mm hmm? Oh. oh, you okay? That was both my elbows. There we go. Took me a second, didn't want to do it. And... I'm in. Okay, I'm loading. This looks hairy. Maybe we should just do we have to redo all those? It's a bit too late for that now. Just watch my back. Scanning, and it does not seem so. Alright, good. Let's see. Let's check. Uh, bug phone switches, one of four. What? Well, that's what it's telling me on the objectives. Oh, uh, looks like you're good. You sure? Uh, find your way into the cellar. Oh, okay. Oh, The mother program is back. That's not very nice. Well, clearly we did not eat our spinach. Where is the mother program? Okay. Okay, um, Aaron, can you get me into the far room? I'm gonna try a different tactic. Oh, we have to hack it again? Yeah. Oh. Hold on. I have to get over there again. Because I don't have the passcode again. Yeah, that's cool. One second. Okay, then I'll head down the stairs, knock out that dude. Three, four, six, seven. Camera inside. One second. Got it. You're good. Thank you. I'm trying to watch the uh, mother program. Oh. Quickly, quickly, quickly. I'm clear of the room. No, I'm talking me. Oh, okay. So I'm trying to hack and get back to my home because I have to rehack all of these. Okay, I'm good. Okay, watch that guy. Ground floor. Okay. Oh, nice. That was quicker. All right, now where the hell? Oh, there's a guy facing you right around the corner. Oh, I see the cellar access. Yeah, he's right there. 
Oh, wow. That's why I said it was much easier. Uh, careful, there's a guy down there. I uh, marked him. Oh, good mark. Hold on. Camera. Okay, go. What is he doing? He's facing away. Oh, okay. Got him. Boom. Hello. Ooh. Nice. Ma'am, I don't know who you are, but your timing is impeccable. Are you alright? Still in one piece, at least. Can you walk? Just about. Who the hell are you? My name is Katya. I'm here to extract you. CIA? Not exactly. I'll explain when we are out of here. Ladies first. Oh, jeez. Achievement. Zero footprint and conquistador. Mm-hmm. Nice. Intel points. Find your way into the cellar. Yeah, we didn't get the second door. Oh, objective. damn it. It didn't. I thought we did. It didn't have them marked on the the uh, screen. So. And I collected so much intel. It didn't. Lies. Yeah, it was bugged. Okay. Game's a little bit bugged. Total footprint, zero. Oh, that's good. Yeah. At least I assume that's good. Well, it means no one knows we're there, so I'm guessing nothing's deducted from us. Do you know how long this game is, out of curiosity? I... do not, actually. Just wondering if it's five missions, two missions. Uh, I actually don't know how much it costs. It shouldn't be two missions. Hey guys, welcome back. How was the flight? It was fine. Is he German? Long as hell. Mm. Maybe next time we can fake German. Class, huh? Yeah. Work in Mexico, and so oh yeah, very and fake German. On the big screen. Kozlova, Zimborski, nicely done. The briefing is in fifteen minutes. My office. No Metal detectors. Come on. Why? Thank you. How was Mexico? Great weather. Friendly people. I'm supposed to admonish you for diverging from mission parameters and putting your lives in danger. But I'm um, not. <laughs> your actions in Mexico City are exactly what this task force is. You're a loose cannon. And <laughs> <laughs> that rules. Well, that's what we need. <laughs> Yo. Paid off. Thanks to both of you, we are able to add Daniel Mansour to our roster as soon as he recovers from his injuries. This puts us in a much better position going forward. With that in mind, I would like to offer you both a permanent place on the field staff. Uh, you gotta be joking. You must be joking. <laughs> Sir, I'm no field man. I just do computers. Hear me out. I know this is not how things are normally done, but what I saw in Mexico City impressed me a great deal. It seems Let's see, he has a diploma of graduation, mm -hmm. a diploma like of diploma. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> bottom right hand. Stay in the van. You'll be on Overwatch. And it'll be Miss Kozlova's boots on the ground. What do you think? Why not? It worked once. It'll work again. I like his watch. Sounds like it. Oh yeah, that's a really nice watch. Miss Kozlova, Mr. Semborski. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You were both present during the general briefing, but now that you're going to be in the field, I want to. And why is that diploma so big? There is a leak. Cause it's a diploma of diploma. It's as big as his chair. Top secret yeah. Is being released about deep cover operatives. And good people are getting killed because of it. The King Bridge Executive has been established to find the source of this leak and to put an end to it. I want to take a look As around his office. <laughs> Screw going to the field. Spend the day getting the formalities out of the way and settling into your new roles. You want to see 96 computer technology? You'll be briefed oh, I've seen. I've five, seen five, that the big old clunky nine. box. Uh -huh. we wish we all had Can you imagine the millennials today. that are looking this at this tech and like, ew? Like I said. <laughs> Ew, what is that? That's all we had today. Yup. Good luck. <gasps> we can actually take a look around his office. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Wait, what are you looking at? Uh, I'm apparently in my office. Oh, can you walk around? Yes. Dude, he has a fucking bar globe. Huh. He has a bar globe, Aaron. Okay, start the next mission in the briefing room. I don't want to start the next mission. Come on in, Miss Kozlova. How are you doing? I have some concerns about the way we run our operations. I know it's unorthodox, 
<laughs> Diploma. <laughs> Seriously. Our mission imposes a certain time pressure on us, and we have very limited. I like his nameplate. Mm, mm -hmm. Do you see his nameplate? Um. We're deep cover agents, and you're not giving us any time to establish a cover. We're essentially writing a new doc. It's blank. <laughs> As such, I'm sure we'll run into some difficulties along like, the way. Like, no names. <laughs> Do you have any specific Seriously, it says diploma. My main concern is local assets. It takes real time to build a network. Right. Good that you mention it. Sarah and I have been assembling a database of freelancers and low-tier agents. Is that a sickle on her arm? In the past. I think Which so. Trust. Instead of trying to build a local network in each location where you'll deploy, which, as you say, takes more time than we can afford, we'll hire some of these agents to go in and make the necessary preparations ahead of time. How long Ooh. ahead of time? As soon as we know where the next target is, we'll start setting things up. But not in Copenhagen. As I said before, nobody is happy about the time frame of this mission, but we have to beat the local authorities. We're working hard to get assets set up in the area. <clears throat> people from Germany and Sweden. Will they make it? It looks like we'll have options, yeah. Cool. All right. Oh, I can read something. Martin Simborski, date of birth, October 3rd, 1964. Former NSA information security specialist originally arrested by the FBI after hacking into some oil industry infrastructure systems and subsequently recruited for law enforcement. Mm. Worked with exclusive, usually... Would work with an exclusive, usually independent and unhierarchical hacker group in the FBI for a few years until he was moved to the NSA. History. Self-taught hacker, very active in the semi-criminal hacker community in San Francisco during the early, early 80s. His experiments with freaking social engineering and programming culminated in a technically simple but highly inventive attack on... Infrastructure systems in Nevada belonging to major oil companies. Though he had great access to do a lot of severe damage, Simborski simply placed a message in the logs taunting the system admins and logged out. Mm. Nice. Well, we have lots of room to grow in here. Ooh, cool. And your office isn't very good, by the way. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> My office is never good. <laughs> you, have a, days... you have a rug and then a thing of blueprints. And a couple of boxes, desk. Do I have, like, whiskey bottles lying around my office? Uh, whiskey, whiskey, no. Damn it. A few days later, you were apprehended by the FBI outside your home and taken to the police station for questioning. The interrogation took three days. But the agents in charge noted you for being highly cooperative. FBI presented you with a choice. Go to jail for an unspecified number of years or work for the FBI. Elements within the FBI had previously set up a special counterintelligence office just for this kind of recruit, a, a haven for talented computer wizards who had problems with direct authority. This office had as much oversight and direction as any other department of the FBI, but their immediate boss had a talent for managing creative teams in a way that didn't seem much like management. Thrived here for a few years until the end of the Cold War and the communist threat, your unit was dispersed into different parts of the NSA which had for some time been absorbing many of the former cyber espionage resources of the FBI. Your new office was a more traditional SIGINT department. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, where you had to work under a boss who liked to micromanage. Quickly grew discontented and accumulated a handful of demerits on your record, which made you prime material for shuffling over here to Kingbridge. Oh, that is a cool waterfall. You were micromanaged and you hated it. Oh, there you are. I found you finally. Hello. Uh, Sarah Rose, whoever that is, upper middle class home, graduated from Oxford in 83 with a Master of Science in Political Science. Yeah. <gasps> it's you and me. There's the Remember? waterfall. Wait, is our secret thingy behind a waterfall? It looks like it. That's so fucking cool! <laughs> and cliche is all hell. Mm -hmm. You need to go talk to some people. Speak to Sarah and her, Ugh, I don't want to talk to these people. I want to shut the fuse box and throw this place into total chaos. Or we can just start the next mission. <sighs> oh, briefing room. Boop. Nope. Peace out. Laters. Not me. Not you? Okay. Don't you do it. See don't ya. you do it, Aaron. Don't you do it! 
No signal. Where is the... Oh, projector's up there. Okay. Where'd you Dude, go? Some someone's requesting piranhas. Ooh, piranhas? That'd be cool. Is this the exit? Can we go to the exit? Where'd you run to? You are an electrical engineer, right? Yes. Yes, because you Okay, I hear you. Oh my why? god, why? What'd you do? I didn't see it. Why would you do that, Reinhardt Gruber? What'd he do? Shoot you? He said Oh, you're an electrical engineer, right? It's like, yeah, because you electrify me. Oh, God. Oh, God, why would you do that? <laughs> why would you do that? Oh. Security, read. Operation dates. Um, security coverage must be doubled during all shifts with scheduled field operations. Okay. It's cool that they let us walk around the base like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a recreation room. Sweet. It's down at the bottom of a flight of stairs. Mm. I found some Yo! of the offices you need. Oh, this is sick. What is the? Oh, I found a records room. All phone calls are monitored, recorded, and logged for security review. There's no such thing as speech that is free. You must pay for everything you say. That's in the rec- Okay, what do we got in the rec room? Oh shit, they got a pool table in the rec room! Where's the rec room? I was part of KGB operation to blackmail Indonesian President Sukarno. Huh? Ever heard of that? Hmm, sounds familiar. Okay. recall the specifics. <laughs> oh, I'm on the main floor now. Oh, that is some old tech. Oh man, I want to see what you're saying. Hang on. several young women disguised as flight attendants. And we got it all on tape, of course. And that is some horrible <laughs> video images. Oh, it's Clinton. Oh, is it? He loved it. In a horrible loop. From Soviet government. He asked for more copies to bring home so he could show it in movie futures in Indonesia. <laughs> I don't believe it. Dude, their big screen TV is square. Oh. Standard 4x3, man. Hey, I think we're on the big screen. Hmm. This is not the rest area. This is the... Where are... Oh, we live and sleep in here. Oh, you found that, yeah. I found the, the, um, the, I guess the dormitory. Did you find your office? No. I'm lost. I don't have any idea where you went to. <laughs> I'm lost in our, I'm basically in the dorm room with a bunch of beds. Oh yeah, I haven't seen that place yet. Opening a bunch of like, closet doors, cause I'm nosy as all hell. Also, my OCD is starting to act up a little bit because the beds aren't rearranged like in a uniform fashion mm. like some people are sleeping facing the wall and other people are sleeping facing the wind facing the the aisle but it's not consistent and it's actually kind of bugging me a little so bit so you better leave the room it's uh what's this room the depot i'm in some kind of depot okay Oh, there's a person here. Hello. Can I request things? Oh, you're talking to somebody you should have. Ничего У нас нет доступа к официальным каналам снабжения, так что формально у группы Кингбридж нет для вас оснащения. Надеюсь, есть какое-нибудь но. Но я воспользуюсь своими связями, чтобы раздобыть для вас кое-что. <laughs> Наш начальник выделяет мне скромный бюджет на самое необходимое. Но когда ты вынужден покупать у контрабандистов и террористов, все обходится несколько дороже. Я готова довольствоваться тем, что есть. Прекрасный подход. 
Впрочем, вы сами сможете помочь мне расширить ассортимент. Mm. Организовать сбор пожертвований. Ха. Помечать ценные для разведки сведения, когда работаете в поле. Ценные не столько для нас, сколько для потенциальных... I collected all of them. That's the intel we missed. Не хватает контактов на черном рынке. Радко, а ведь вы и вправду живете в восточноевропейскими стереотипами. Поэтому я здесь. Несите yeah, мне like his desk. Wow, that's um. You got a lot of time on. You got a lot of time on your hands, don't you? Для ваших же полевых операций. Чем больше сведений мы продаем, тем выше доверие клиентов, и тем проще нам добраться до новых сведений. Your Russian is very good. Вы отлично говорите по-русски. Пожалуй, лучше, чем по-чешски. Я русский уже дольше, чем был чехом. Полагаю, вас и на свете не было, когда я перешел на русский. Я читал oh. ваше досье. <laughs> Может быть, я когда-нибудь mm. расскажу вам кое-что из того, чего в досье нет. Dude, half his face is burnt. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. Kind of typical, but cool. Хорошо. Что вы можете предложить прямо сейчас? Познакомьтесь. SR-1 Вектор. Стандартное личное оружие ФСБ. В комплекте, разумеется, есть глушители. И на выбор круглые или обтекаемые пули. Очень неплохой пистолет, хотя в поле будет трудно разжиться для него патронами. Ну уж, если у меня кончатся патроны, то, скорее всего, неприятности слишком велики, чтобы выпутаться из них с помощью стрельбы. Еще у меня тут в запасах есть ящик с американскими осколочными патронами. Спасибо. Увидимся перед моим следующим заданием. Хорошо. Я сообщу, что надо наладить новые каналы поставок. That's your first. Now you need to talk to Sarah in her office and Martin in his office. Okay, this dude's got the hand dumbbells, okay? He got the... Press E to log into PC. Can you hack into this place, by the way, Aaron? Oh, I haven't found anything I could. Oh, I can't, I can't do H, no. Aw. Oh. I'm sure this armory will flesh out more as we acquire more guns. That should. Oh god, DOS. DOS. MS DOS. Uh -huh. Where and the big floppies. Oh, firing range. Oh cool. They have an underground firing range. That's, That's nice. Multiple firing ranges, I'm assuming? No. Yeah, I don't know what section you <gasps> went to. This is an interrogation room. Where's the interrogation room? Okay, so you head downstairs th through the waterfall. Oh, through right? the waterfall, okay. You head out through the waterfall. I did not do that yet. Yo, they were playing Texas Hold'em in here. Oh, nice. <gasps> they got an underground gambling ring inside a secret CIA thingamajigger. Uh, Aaron, there's a lock keypad here. Okay. I'd love to know the passcode for it. I uh, can't do anything to help you. Damn it. I can't hack. Oh, geez. Go upstairs and to go downstairs? Well, that's annoying. Aaron, there's a lot of sneaking areas around here, and I'm kind of suspicious about it. Uh, that's probably our final mission. Yep. Or, like, penultimate mission. Oh, dartboard, pool table, nice. Yeah. Okay, then you know where I'm. You know where I am. Okay, I should see you momentarily. Yeah, you said go through the waterfall. I hadn't tried that one yet. Ah, there you are. Hey. Okay. Where are we going? You probably need to go back to the offices, don't you? Yeah, I talked to everyone down here. Oh, too far. Did you hear the story about the Indonesian president? Uh-uh. Apparently, uh, old Oleg down here. His name's actually Oleg was sent to blackmail the Indonesian president. So what they did was they set up uh, the president with a bunch of uh, female agents disguised as flight attendants to try and get some raunchy videos to blackmail him with. Mm. Turns out he actually was totally into that thing. Mm, interesting. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, here's the Clinton <gasps> thing.